Hello folks, my name's David Edgar, I'm the host of Heart and Hand Rangers podcast and I'm joining you from Auckland again uh, on my last night here to talk about Rangers 1-1 draw with Aberdeen in the Cup. Before I do, I'd just like to thank everyone involved in what has been an absolutely wonderful trip from the Melbourne City Loyal when I, when I went there to do a, a show with Stuart Munro, then to the Kiwi True Blues who organised Orsa 2019 and to everyone over here, I have had a ball. And... Uh, I suppose well done to Rangers for not completely wrecking it on the last night. All of the people travelling home from Orsa um, would have had a, a pretty disappointing flight and at half time that I looked lightly, Rangers did not play well today at all and I'm just happy that we're still in the cup to be honest with you. Uh, it was one of those uh, early in the season Rangers-Aberdeen games where Aberdeen scored early, stupid tackle from Connor Goldson, doesn't see Gary McKay Stephen coming in on his blind side, catches him, Stonewaller. Um, Cosgrove putting that away, Alan McGregor a wee bit unlucky, I thought, to, to, to not save it. And Rangers then struggled. Aberdeen did what they did in their two previous 1-0 victories over us, which was just sit in, frustrate us. We couldn't get anything going at all. The midfield uh, weren't winning second balls. Aberdeen were winning the second balls consistently. A um, couple of efforts, an Alfie shot and a Kandia shot wide of the post in the first half, but Aberdeen hit the bar with a header from McKenna. So... At half time, you're thinking, hmm, we've seen this movie before, but Rangers, for the first 10 minutes of the second half, came out like a completely different team. And that was the best we played in the match. Got a goal back. Uh, a, a corner from Ryan Kent was a nice finish from Joe Worrell. And uh, in the end, that's proved enough to get as a, a replay. Both teams had chances. Aberdeen probably come in the, the closest with two stramashes. Uh, one including an absolutely wonderful save from Alan McGregor to, to keep us in the cup. And yeah, like I say, at half time, I would absolutely have taken a draw. Uh, I mean, seven times we'll play Aberdeen this season after seven times playing Kilmarnock. So uh, Scottish football in a nutshell there. But I must admit that I struggling to pick out players who did well. I thought Worrell did okay. Um, I thought Kamara did well and continues to look like decent play. He grew into the game. He didn't have a great first half. Nobody did really. Kent tried to make things happen. Maybe he's touched a few times. Morelos got booked for a dive in the first half. Um, and again, it's the inconsistency because he got booked for a dive. Okay, fair enough. The ref thought it was a dive. That's, that, that's one thing. But then Cosgrove does exactly the same and doesn't get dived. And eventually Shinny gets dived after the Rangers players point out the inconsistency uh, on on sorry McLennan gets booked after the the Rangers players point at the inconsistency on it. Uh, Kevin Clancy did not have a good game. Aberdeen are a team who rely on breaking up the opposition with a lot of uh, you know niggly fills and and whenever they're touched they go down, which is odd for such a big physical team. And the ref fell for it every single time. Um, Alfie stayed on the park and I think that that was. Due to him kind of walking in eggshells afterwards, he didn't have his best game. But equally, it was more important in the grand scheme of things for him to make sure that he didn't get caught up in anything else. And uh, the game for a, a Rangers-Aberdeen game didn't seem as feisty. Certainly not as feisty as the last one. Um, one incident in the second half uh, apart. But uh, overall, just happy to get through. And I, I suppose if you're looking for the positive, that, as I say, twice this season we've played Aberdeen in games very, very similar to that. Gone a goal behind and never looked like scoring. Whereas today we did manage to drag ourselves back into it. We did keep ourselves in the cup. Uh, I'm confident we'll beat them in the replay at Ibrox. And uh, obviously the Scottish Cup has taken on massive significance for us this season. Um, pretty hard draws when you think about it. I mean, with obviously Celtic, then Kilmarnock and Aberdeen are the, the hardest that you can get. But we're still in the heart. Uh, the cliche, but it's true. It's all that matters. And uh, I'm going to head off. I've got uh, five hours until I leave for my flight. So I'm going to see if I can get some shut eye and then embark on the 26 hour journey home to Scotland. I'm very much looking forward to getting back. But uh, if you ever get the opportunity, folks, to visit New Zealand, I highly recommend that wonderful place, wonderful people. And the jail's still in the cup, so not too bad. Thank you very much for listening to me. If you want to hear more from me or any of the Heart and Hand portals, just go to patreon.com forward slash heart and hand. For just $1.99 per month, you'll get up to five shows every single day. Till then, take care. Bye bye.